gentlemen, good evening. Um, first of all, anything you have from Spain, from the Spanish Grand Prix, anything you want to discuss? Uh, Jensen, what do you think? Uh, you say if we were missing turn two, we had to go behind one. Yes. Correct? Correct. But you make of the situation better than Hamilton. Well, the interesting point there was very close because what the notes that I wrote said was if you go over the bumps, if you, if you touch those two bumps across, then you have to go around the bollard. No, it didn't quite hit the bumps, just, just missed them. I think it means that we need to look a little more carefully at that because it would have been silly. I think, I think the question that you asked... <laughs> what Lewis did was absolutely in accordance with the notes that we sent out. He didn't go over the bump, he just missed it. But if he had gone over the bump, what I'm saying is that if he put one wheel on it, it would have seemed a little harsh to have to go all the way around it. I think it's two ways of, of you know, looking at what's happening. In the Lewis case, you know, he was fighting with another car, somebody touched him, he go, even if he goes more. Yeah. I don't see why he needs to go completely no, to the left no, no, and pass it to the, to the, the cone. So if, if you see that the guy just missed the corner, he goes straight, he needs to mm -hmm. pass there. So I think when you're fighting, mm -hmm. you already lost the position, yeah. you go wide. Why he needs to, you know, no, I, I even if he goes more, I completely agree with you, but I think that's what I meant when I said we should review what was asked at that briefing in Spain. Anything that you want to discuss concerning your experiences so far here in Monaco? Max? Yeah, I think that the yellow curve here at the swim was a bit high, isn't it? I mean, so far today we haven't like really touched it, but if you have a little moment or whatever... Yeah, there seems to be some suggestion it's different from last year, but it's not. It's exactly the same. I have to admit that I haven't measured it my, myself, but nor did I measure it last year. But these guys that built the circuit say that it's exactly the same curve. So I'm, I'm a bit mystified by this. Forget whether it's higher than it was last year, but you think it's a bit too high anyway. Maybe it's a lot of painting. <laughs> <laughs> Funny you should say that, it has been painted about six times. So it's a building, doesn't it? <laughs> but um, I don't think there's much we could do about it now because it's a fairly solid thing, but it is the same curve that was there last year. It's just a bit unnecessary high. Okay. And it's the same as the one in the other chicane at turn 11. Uh, yeah. yeah, that one is also quite high. But that's not as critical. Right. Is that because the entry speed's higher? Yeah, the entry yeah, speed was lower. Yeah, but it's, I mean, if you clip that yellow curve right. in yeah. here in, in uh, 16, yes. I think maybe corner 15, it's getting a little bit too quick. Over the, so if, over if the big corner 15 yes. is a little yeah. bit lower, yes. I think it will be less of a problem to have the big yes. curve, you know? Yeah. He, he is supposed to be retired, remember? Oh, that's right, yeah. <laughs> Instead of that yellow trampoline, do you ever consider <laughs> to put a wall like it was 20 years ago, or no, it's not an option for you? I don't think that's an option because of the approach speeds. Has anybody else have anything they wish to talk about? Okay, gents, thanks very much indeed. Thank you.